Farming in Rust has tons of mechanics, but it doesn't have to be complicated. With a water catcher, a solar panel, and a ceiling light, along with something that holds water, like a water jug or a bucket, you'll already have everything you need for a farm. You can expect nearly 300 cloth from this farm every two hours. It's obviously not a ton, but since the upkeep is so low, and you find all of these items in crates and barrels anyways, you can expect this farm to quickly pay for itself while idling. And don't worry about high maintenance either, as long as you put one one bucket of water every hour, you won't have to worry about your plants dying. Now obviously this isn't meant to be your main base, but there's just enough space for a little bit of storage, which makes it a good second respawn point if you're being door camped, let's say. Now the build is pretty simple, it's two triangles and a square. Just make sure to put the TC as far back as you can so the boxes will fit, and you'll also need to place the planter box before your interior door frame, otherwise you won't be able to place it down. Now if you put the TC far enough back, you can fit two boxes in, and then add the doors. And it's totally fine to add the external door first, I didn't do it since I'm on a build server. Then the light goes in the middle, and the interior is done. Next up the exterior, you place the water catcher over here, and to get on the roof, you can build up. Solar panel can point basically anywhere here, since we'll definitely have enough energy. After that, connect a single wire from your solar panel to the light, and then the base is done. As long as you have enough water, you can keep the farm running. I recommend you keep a few full water jugs in storage, so you can water your plants before placing them. Because as a rough rule of thumb, you'll want to keep the water level above 4000 while growing your plants. Now of course you can build the base longer for more planter boxes, but you'll need to make sure you have enough water. But if you're not experienced with electricity, it doesn't get that much more complicated. Just connect the pass through of the first light to the second light. And hey, if you're not interested in an extra external base, don't be afraid of attaching this module onto your main base. It acts as usable honeycomb, and it'll only make your base slightly more expensive. 